Well, I want to show you how to make these little chickens with the bonnets. That one I just finished sewing this morning. See the little blanket stitch around it? See her little pink bonnet, her little waddle, and her little beak? I want to show you how I make those. Now, when I made this, this chicken quilt, these chickens didn't have bonnets, or neither did this one. But these little girls, they got their bonnets on. Let's make some of them. Hello and welcome to Breeders Roost and the Quilted Chicken Farm. I have two YouTube channels. And today, today I'm just surrounded by chickens. Now I make these chickens. You can see these, they're really cute I think. And the, This quilt's all done. The quilt over there in the chair is all done. The quilt on my table in front of me is all done. But after I made these quilts, and I got those all done, let me move this out of the way, I come up with a new idea, and I've been making new chickens, and these little chickens have bonnets. This little pink thing's just as cute as she can be. And I've got a little blue one here. It's got its little bonnet. Not like these others that don't have the bonnets. And I've even got a bonnet here. Let me show you this old-fashioned bonnet. This bonnet actually belonged to my husband's grandmother. I'm going to put it on for you. It's pretty old, and I'm sure she made it. But there's, there's her bonnet, and I'm going to wear it. I think they said this was the one that she was wearing on Sundays and when she'd go to town. As Annie Terry, this was her bonnet. Annie Terry was my husband's, my husband's grandmother. And there's her bonnet. Now, now I'm going to show you how to make these chickens with the bonnets. I first started with the pattern out of an old quilt magazine. I've, some of you guys have already seen this, but I started with this pattern. Made a photocopy. And made, a, and made lots of these chickens. But then I found a way I could add a bonnet to her. So here's my photocopy. And it's got the bonnet on here. So now we're going to start making. I'm going to show you how I make one. And this is heat and bond light. And that's what I'm going to use to trace on here. I'm going to take my photocopy. Put it underneath. The, Kind of get it to the edge. Be frugal and use my heat and bond like I need to. Let me find my pencil. Yeah, I'm unorganized. I get a few things done, but I'm unorganized. I'll admit it. And I'll take my pencil. And if you had a light box or something, it might work. But I can see it good enough. Show you right quick. I'll draw fast. Now that's just the body of the chicken. I'll cut it apart in a minute and show you. Now I'm going to scoot it down to another spot. And I'm going to draw the wing. I can make one of these just pretty quick. There's the wing. And now if we're making, making these chickens, we'll need to trace that part. But I think with the bonnet, I think with the bonnet I'm going to leave that comb off of it. But I will do a beak and the waddle. The waddle is that red thing under the chicken's neck under the chicken's yeah under the chicken's neck so let's draw the waddle because we want to put it on there and let's go up here and draw a beak now we've got to do the bonnet move it move it over let's see what i'm doing here Alright. <laughs> now 
that one was kind of an afterthought, so I'm having to look at it so I don't mess it up. There's our bonnet. Now let me find some. And this is what I I used. And I'm going to move that out of the way. Find the scissors. They're underneath here somewhere. I'm going to cut these pieces apart. Move that out of the way. And sometimes I would trace, if I was doing a lot of them and not just demonstration, I would trace several of them. And around my pencil edge, I'm leaving just a just a little little over that mark line because I'll go back and cut them apart after they're on the fabric. There's the wing, and this is the paper side, and then there's a rough side that's going to have the sticky stuff on it when you iron it. There's that one. Here's the bonnet. Get the beak. I may have some. Back when I was making several of them, I did a whole lot of beaks at one time. There's my little beak. Now let's get this chicken's body here. of an inch. There's my body. Now, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And I'm gonna, then we're going to iron them onto the fabric. Alright, I'm going to get my mat here and my hot iron. What I'm going to do, let's see, what do we want? What color? I've got a pile of scraps here. What color should we make? Do we want to make a green chicken? I think a green one would be pretty. And then we'll decide what color we're going to make the other parts of it. Now the, the printed side that is down. And I'm going to iron this chicken body. The paper side up. Like that. Hold the iron there, just good hot iron there, just for a few seconds. Now, our chicken is on there. This our, I'm going to let that cool just for a minute before I handle it. And let's see, what do I want? What color would look pretty on that? Go through my scraps here. Let me think. I thought I had some that really matched, really pretty. But, well, we're going to make our body and our wing out of this red one. Now, that's the, this is the back side, this is the front side. So, I'm going to lay the front side down. I'm going to put my, put my bonnet on there. And I'm going to put my wing on there. I tell you what we could do. Got two bonnets here. Where'd that one come from? And I've got got that one here. Well, we don't want that one yet. Let me stick it right there. Now, this, the rough side of that heat and bond is down on the back side of that fabric. And now they're stuck on there. So let's, since this one's cooled, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to 
Cut around my pencil edge now. Well, those those old scissors are not cutting worth a dime. Let me step over here and get me a better pair. And I'll show you. Let me show you what I've done here. I, I put them on there. Just like that. Now, let's go back over and cut. Let's go to our chicken first, since I started it first. chicken now. Go back up here where its little beak goes and trim that out a little better. Now, there's the, there's the chicken and it's still got the paper on it. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a minute. Let me move this piece. Let's cut our wing and our bonnet. It looks a little bit like Grandma Annie's bonnet, don't it? got a little beak here and where did that little waddle go well let me see I've got one of those already made too so I'm going to cut one of these I've already got made now then we'll iron it onto our 12 and a half inch block because my chickens are 12 and a half inches block size so they would finish down to uh, 12 inches. Alrighty. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my scrap so we can so we can see what we're doing. How about that? And I've already cut a block. That's 12 and a half. I'm gonna lay it down there and it's got just a wrinkle or two. So I'm just gonna hit it with the iron. Now, now that chicken and that heating bond, it's got a paper on it, so I'm going to peel that paper off, kind of fold it so, it so it'll come loose so I can pull it, and then it, put, it peels off, and that's trash, don't need that anymore. I'm gonna, and I'm just going to eyeball him on here. Or her. It's a her. And this is the little yellow beak. I'm going to peel that paper off. And, and I'm going to pick up these little heads so I can scoot, him un, scoot it under there. This is our little red wattle. Peel the paper off of it. Have to keep folding it till it comes loose. Now I put them in place, and I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to run my iron over that right now to stick those pieces. So this is 
what we've got right now. And if I wanted to right now and make it a little easier, I could take this over to the sewing machine and do the blanket stitch around that. But I'm just going to go ahead and put all the pieces on here and then take it to the machine just for show and tell purposes and it'll still be okay. Pe peeling that off. Just kind of guessing at that wing, putting that. Here's our bonnet. Gonna peel the paper off the bonnet. Just peeling it off. And I'm just gonna guess at where I wanna put it. Make sure it looks about right. That looks good to me. You, you'll have to just decide for yourself where yours need to be. If I run that iron over it. Now it's ready to sew. Just as cute as it can be. I'm now I'll take, the, take it over to the sewing machine and do the blanket stitch. And I believe I'm going to stop it and set it up over there and show you what I do next. Back. I forgot to bring the microphone over. I don't know if you can hear me now. Maybe you can hear me now. I've set the machine to do the blanket stitch. And I'm going to start. It's going to sew backwards and forwards and make the little make the little part that goes over and catches it. Come to that part, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these blocks. I may send them to somebody else. And then I, I may put them together with this, make a scrappy, another scrappy quilt with them. And I may be just making them for fun. It's, it's one of those satisfying things to me is to watch those sew. I enjoy doing this part. I'm not sure if you can see if you can see those stitches. My camera skills are not real great. And I'm just gradually turning it as I go around the curve there. make it go faster. See? I'm machine speed it up. And I just sew them off with white thread. I don't match the color of thread. Because I think the stitch is pretty. Clip, clip those threads. I think I've got that pair of dull scissors. I've got better. I've got better scissors. Now there is the stitching around that part. How about how about we do that little beak? How about that? There's a, there's a couple of starts and stops, but not a lot. Now, pretty good turn on it, so I'll have to stop and adjust it every once in a while. Put the needle down, the pressure foot up, so I can turn it. One more time. One more. Razor 
press your foot up and turn it. Go out to the end of the bead. Raise it up and turn and do this other part. And trim that thread right there. stop when I get to the edge of that bonnet. And there's the there's the beak part. Now on this bonnet, where am I going to start? I think I'm going to start back here at the back of her head, the back of the neck on it. it up and turn. right quick and add a little decoration to this bonnet. Let me see what stitch was it. I'm going to do a, my number is 39 on this brother. Now I'm going to take it out and show it to you. I'm going to keep working on it because it's not finished yet. Now, let me see. I sewed that bonnet and I put a little stitch right, right here. And I like to take the decorative stitches on this machine too. And this, this has got little leaves. So I'm going to run some little leaves along. Let me find that number. There's some pretty little hearts. But I think... I think I'm going to do the number 51 on this machine. And it'll be some leaves that, that kind of mimics that pattern in that fabric. Way, but it's kind of fun on these fancy machines that do fancy stitches too. See if you can see that. Can you see what I put on her little bonnet? Now I'm going to have to go back and finish the, the applique stitch around her. So let's go back to Go back to the other number, and I'll go right up here. Yeah, just get, get around 
this. This gonna be done. I'm so fast. I'll hurry. And I'm going to hurry and show you guys. to do because I think some of you are wanting to make these chickens. this camera up and turn it up where I'm at. There I am. Now this is what we made. See if I can get it in the right in the picture. We made the little chicken with the bonnet. We decorated her little bonnet. We stitched all the way around her. There we go. I'm going to make some more of them. I hope that you make some too. But if you want the pattern, I think I, we can figure out a way to get it to you. I'll see y'all later. Bye.